All right, everybody. So I told you and I warned you that we were going to do some car content. So this is the car we're going to be working on. So for those that don't know, my family has been into little German sports cars, Opel GTs for a very long time, probably since long before me. And we recently rescued this one from a car auction. Um, this particular one was owned by an elderly member of our club that we uh, ended up finding uh, at the auction for the uh, car museum I work for in Tacoma. So um, we happened to uh, stumble upon it and uh, lo and behold, we won. So this is a great little car. Um, I have a lot of history with this car just because uh, when I was a kid, and I'll even show some pictures right here. When I was a kid, we used to go to our yearly Opal meets. Um, these are Opals, like I said. Um, and we used to see this car uh, with the owner, Lynn, uh, who bought it new in uh, California. So we are technically the second owners of this car. And we uh, are more than happy to have it. It is a one, or sorry, a very rare white with red interior car. Um, they uh, came out 69 and 70. Um, this happens to be a 70. Um, but uh, we are going to be redoing the interior on this car, so I will film bits of that and show you kind of the process. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so this is what we're looking at for the interior. We've already taken out a center console and replaced that boot, and we were just putting in new uh, visors. So we might change out the dash, not sure yet. It's got some cracks in it. We have a spare, but it's about the same quality. We also have to paint this with some vinyl paint. So. Uh, and we do have a full carpet kit and new uh, plugs for the floor. So uh, we will uh, show you what's happening a little bit more as we get there. So what I'm working on right now, um, well, my dad's working on the shift panel. Um, we're, we've got two. We're trying to make one good one out of them. Obviously, that's what you do. Do that in vacuum world as well. Uh, I blend in with this interior, by the way. I went full red today. Um, didn't plan on it, it's the way it went. But what I'm doing is I'm taking the screws out of this um, rear package tray, uh, grocery tray, something like that, um, because it is all nice and faded. So we have a replacement for that. So I am taking that out. It is just a cover over a board. So we are going to take said board out and uh, replace it and fix it. So on to it. So in typical Washington fashion, it's raining you can see uh, but we have great success so um i'll take you into the car so here as you might be able to remember this all looked like crap uh there was a couple of mismatched speech speakers from the original well the original owners putting in some boom booms so you know she was jamming some tunes we're putting in an original speaker so we still have to put that in up here um but overall we have a new flap that covers the spare tire the jack everything and of course we have this brand new beautiful package tray that yours truly just put together with the staples and the glues and the uh, replacements so it's looking fantastic so as you can see we're having a lot of success with the car um one of the next steps we are going to be doing is replacing the seats um but that's we have to find somebody to do that we, we can't do that unfortunately we can't buy the seat covers um but we are going to be doing the carpet soon here um so stay tuned And by the way, we are still figuring out which one we're going to use that or that, but it's where it goes right around there. Put in a new one of them because uh, that boot was worn through the sole. So, and then we're still working on what we're going to do about the dash, but so far so good. 
Now, a little bit of added information about this car. Um, so we, as in me, my dad and my brother, used to show an orange car, butterscotch car, um, and then we also had a blue car. It never got shown, but we had three cars that we had at one time. We had nine of these little devils poking around. Never had the white one with the red interior, though. But uh, each year we would take a car or at least attend our Opal meet um where a whole bunch of not just opal gts like this little guy but opal mantas cadets records pontiac solstice also was an opal gt technically uh or the saturn sky also opal gt those all kind of met together we also used to get together with some mazda miata clubs but most years was this car there with lynn the original owner um she married a gentleman in the service um, they lived down in California where she bought this car brand new and enjoyed the heck out of it. Uh, as you can see, the driver's seat, very worn. Passenger seat, not used very well by the original owner. Do you want to drive it? Sure. I'd love to. Okay. All right, everybody, we have commenced in replacing a decent chunk of the interior of the 1970 Opal GT, white with red interior and 1.1 liter straight for 1.9. 1.9, sorry. But uh, if you guys want to see more of us doing things with this car on the channel, please leave a like, a comment, and of course, subscribe. I, of course, am Carl again in the 1970 Opal GT, signing off.